Welcome back to another video, everyone. This is a video I've wanted to do for a very long time, talking to you uh, and talking through how my thoughts have changed on Officeware uh, from the time I was just starting my first internship uh, in finance in New York City to the present day. What did I wear in 2018 summer versus what do I wear now? How have my thoughts changed? Um, and obviously some of that changes with budget and you get experience working full time. And I just think it's, it's a really interesting topic. So I'm really happy to share with you my own perspective working a front office role in finance. So first things first, um, you know, what is the role? Uh, because that, you know, dictates what you need to wear. A front office role within finance basically means that you are interacting with the clients, whether you are uh, on the sell side acting as an advisor to certain parties, or if you're on the buy side and you're allocating capital. If you're in the front office, you have a seat at the table when there are people at the office, uh, you're either taking notes, talking, um, or, or, you know, walking through any analysis that you may have done. So when there are clients in the office, you know, you pretty much always need to have a suit on. And so in 2018, as an intern in the city, um, I was working for a very small operation, only had a few meetings uh, all summer, and I really only wore a suit once uh, that entire time. In 2018, I owned two suits. Um, one was actually very, very nice. It was from Boss. I got it at Nordstrom Rack, and I think, you know, after tax and maybe a couple alterations, it's actually like $500. Um, and then I had another suit that was, you know, more basic, like men's warehouse kind of stuff that I got for a wedding uh, for about $200. Uh, both were navy. The thing about um, finance in New York City uh, and finance in general is that you are only wearing navy uh, or gray suits. Um, and then, you know, the reason for that is there are plenty of jokes and memes. You know, if you're wearing a black suit, it means you're going to a funeral. Um, you never wear brown downtown, uh, Wall Street being downtown in Manhattan. Uh, so it's always navy or gray in the industry. And then in terms of dress shirts, um, you know, through high school, I mean, even now, I mean, like Banana Republic, um, I think is like a very, very strong value play. I think in general, you could get dress shirts there for about $45 if they're on sale. Um, they're all, they almost always have something on sale. So Banana Republic, I would go there. I have like, you know, a couple shirts with patterns. A couple of just white shirts, which I think are usually more expensive than the range of like 60 to maybe $80 from Banana Republic. Um, but in general, you should be wearing mostly solid colored shirts, white um, or light blue. You can also wear, uh, you know, check shirts. Um, and basically, you need to just fill your closet with anything that you can wear with a navy or gray suit. And then in terms of pants, because you're not wearing a suit every day, in fact, very few firms today still require you to wear suits in the office. I mean, I can think of a couple of the very largest private equity funds um, who still require people to wear suits and, and ties in the office um, every day of the week. But most, most firms, most banks have moved away from that to retain younger talent just because you know, it's, you know, millennials, Gen Z, you know, we, we don't want to wear uh, suits in the office every day of the week. It can be fun, don't get me wrong, but uh, when it comes to, you know, working, you know, 80 to 100 plus hours a week, it, you know, you don't really want to put a suit on in the morning every single day uh, for the most part. But when it comes to dress pants, you know, things that you're wearing just with you, just with the, the separate dress shirts tucked in. My go-to was always the, the core temp pants from Banana Republic. Um, so obviously it's a recurring theme. Um, but the thing about Banana Republic is like you get a dress shirt, say for $45. Um, I actually have one that's lasted for multiple years. I mean, I don't wear it every single day. Uh, like you could wear the same white shirt, you know, three or four days a week. If you're taking care of it, if you're wearing, you know, maybe an undershirt under it, just like a basic white t-shirt for $15 under it. Um, and you're not sweating too much and you're not, you know, doing acrobatics in your white shirt. You can honestly wear the same shirt in the office, you know, multiple days a week. No one's going to say anything because you, you know, you're still looking crisp. You keep it ironed or steamed, get a basic steamer off of Amazon for like, you know, 20 to $30. Um, keep it looking good. Just don't let it um, smell too bad. Um, if, if it does, you know, start to smell bad, just like wash it or to get it dry clean. And then the pants that I get from Banana Republic, these core temp pants, I would wear the absolute crap out of them. I would buy, um, you know, the last few years I purchased like a navy pair as well as a gray pair. I would get one or two pairs per year um, because, you know, I'll be wearing these, you know, sometimes twice a week. Um, usually not three times a week. I, I think that's very, very rare. I'd always switch it up, uh, navy gray, navy gray, and then maybe casual Friday or uh, 
um, switch to another pair of dress pants that I have. These core 10 pants, um, what I would notice is that they would start to fade if you wash them a lot. Um, and typically, like they're only gonna look really sharp for one year. You know, I have pairs that I've had for two years, but after that, like you really need to replace them because they'll start to fade, you know, on the knees or the color will fade in other places. And then there's like a matte finish uh, on the buttons that will fade a little bit, which doesn't really matter because you have a belt covering it as well. On the topic of belts, you do not need an expensive belt. You really, really do not need an expensive belt. Just get a black leather belt with a silver buckle, get a brown, you know, a brown leather belt, a dark brown leather belt with a silver buckle, or get one reversible belt <laughs> that's black and dark brown on the other side with a silver buckle. I actually have um, a reversible belt. I have a black leather belt that I pretty much wear. I wear 90% of the time, I just wear the black leather belt. You know, even, you know, it basically you just have to match your shoes. And then on the, on the topic of shoes, um, you know, I've had a few pairs of dress shoes um, in the past few years. I think pretty much all of them I got at Nordstrom Rack, okay? I think the most expensive pair of shoes, dress shoes I had, uh, had for a while or 130. Uh, I'll show you a picture of those. Um, then I upgraded a couple years later. This is maybe now 2020, um, and got a you know, maybe a pair of 160 dollar like Hugo Boss shoes from again Nordstrom Rack. And then most recently, actually in my Paris vlog, I picked up by far my most expensive pair of uh, dress shoes. Uh, I got some loafers from Gucci. And shoes, shoes is a really interesting topic for Wall Street because there's so many memes about it. Um, basically, after your first year, you're kind of allowed to wear like loafers with like a, you know, like the horse bit on it. And then, you know, uh, you either have the Gucci loafers, you either have the Salvador Ferragamo loafers. After that, I mean, I don't even know what else you could wear. It, it's kind of been memed so hard that, you know, I personally, I almost can't even see myself wearing Ferragamo loafers just because there's so many jokes about it, like on finance meme accounts on Instagram. Um, I'm also just partial to the look of the Gucci loafer. Um, but if you wear that in your first year, you're probably gonna get made fun of, you know, in, in, in good fun uh, by the people above you. Cause it's like your first year, um, you know, analyst on Wall Street, you don't need to be wearing $800 shoes to the office. Like clients don't really care. Um, but after that, I think it's fair game. It can be fun to sort of join into the meme finance culture if you really like shoes. I'm a big shoe person, so um, I do have a pair of Gucci loafers that um, you know I'll wear to the office you know, on Fridays. Maybe I'll come with the back down or wear them around the office with the back down, um, the kind that you can like step on. And then in terms of socks, I mean, socks don't last forever. Uh, just get that through your head and don't develop an emotional attachment to socks. So you can get cheap socks, you can get socks for $7 a pair, $15 a pair, $20 a pair. You know, I have a couple like nicer pairs of socks um, that I'll wear with like the Gucci loafers, but in general, just have some black socks, you know, thin black socks, thin navy socks, thin, you know, like tan socks. And then, you know, you can wear those with, that's every single possible outfit combination. And you may have to replace those every year and a half, um, two years at most. Um, but socks, shirts, pants, it's just very important to get through your head that like when you're working full time, you're wearing dress clothes or you're like, you know, business professional clothes all the time, like things will get worn out and like the elbows will rip on a dress shirt if you wear it like three days a week or two days a week for a year. Um, <clears throat> so like you really do either need to invest in like extremely nice shirts, um, you know, pants, socks, take very, very good care of them. And even then, um, you know, very, very few things last forever uh, when it comes to work clothes. So I think the big difference between 2018, um, which was my internship, um, and then into 2019 and 2020, is you realize that once you're, you're coming into the office in a, a job like this, where everyone's making a lot of money, everyone's working really hard, um, and everyone essentially deserves to be in the seat that they're in, people don't care really um, like what brands you wear. At least that's, that's by far has been what I've noticed. Um, you can wear the same thing in the office multiple days a week and no one would bat an eye. No one's going to say anything. No one's going to think that's weird because everyone knows exactly where you've been. You were in the office, you got dinner, you went home, you slept, you put on clothes, you came back to the office. Like there's not a lot of time for you to, you know, want to think about wearing like the coolest thing in the office or like, you know, throw like a crazy fit. You know, the most people will comment on is like your tie and like what brand your tie is just for fun. So like if, you know, if you really want to be like elite and, you know, showy uh, for fun in the office, you know, you have an Hermes tie for, I don't know, $400, $400. 
You have a Ferragamo tie for, I don't know, $300. Tom Ford tie, $300. Um, but in general, like I have some Brooks Brothers ties. I think I've gotten them all on sale at Nordstrom um, for, I don't even know, less than $80 each. Um, I have a couple other ties, um, but you know, you just don't wear ties that often in the office. I personally really like ties. Um, you, just don't, you just don't wear them very often. So it doesn't really make sense to invest in more than two or three tops. Uh, you leave one on your desk in case, you know, there's a meeting that you get pulled into. Um, you also leave a suit at the office in case there's a meeting you get pulled into and you're not wearing a suit. Um, you can just go change your pants, throw on the jacket over. Um, and then at home, I also have a couple extra jackets actually from Zara. Um, I mean, I, I think I only own these two things from Zara, uh, but they're really nice sort of like sport coats, I don't know, blazers. Um, because I, I don't often wear a suit to the office because the more I wear it, then I have to get a dry clean. So I'll just wear like very nice dress pants, throw on like this a Zara jacket over it. Um, I also picked up like a green jacket recently, which is far more casual, um, which I could maybe wear to the office on a Friday. Um, but I also have a few extra jackets. Uh, I kind of trailed off there. Um, but back to, back to people who just, you know, people just don't really care what you wear to the office as long as you look sharp. Okay, your shirt could cost, you know, they're, they're like these $40 shirts in Nordstrom Rack that um, I've purchased a couple. They really don't last more than a year if you're wearing them consistently, to be completely frank. Um, and they're totally fine. Like they look good. The armpits will get yellow if you sweat like I do, especially in the summer. Um, the elbows are gonna wear, so you're gonna have to replace them after a year, um, even though they cost 45 bucks, which, you know, for me, like that was like expensive. Um, in, in high school, you know, I bought a couple of dress shirts from Banana Republic, $45 was expensive. And then in college, you know, you wanna have a couple of dress shirts, you know, in case you're presenting um, in classes and stuff. 45 bucks was like the most I wanted to spend on a dress shirt. Now, I have, very, I have a few very, very nice dress shirts. Did not pay retail though. I think this dress shirt retails over $300. Uh, this is an Eaton shirt. Uh, I, found, I will very, very rarely find a couple at Nordstrom Rack or at Nordstrom, um, only in person, never online. And then I, I, I will always pick them up uh, if they're in my size. I've, fortunately, I've found two. Um, so this is like the very, very high end of what I own now. Um, and then in terms of dress pants, I have a couple like very nice pairs of dress pants um, that I purchased um, at like a men's clothing boutique in Shanghai. Um, I also have one like very nice jacket from that same boutique in Shanghai. It's very thin, made with very high quality wool. Um, and so I can wear that during the summer and like sweat less. I have a couple linen shirts just to, you know, add to the closet linen shirts for the summer. Um, I think my bosses don't really like it when I wear like a linen shirt to the office, but you know, I don't, I, you know, just don't care that much. Um, uh, also it's been COVID. So there have just been far fewer clients in the office. So you can kind of get away with a little bit more. Um, you can also wear sneakers in the office, like running people will often, you know, at least in my profession that I know of people will wear black running shoes, like all black running shoes to the office. Cause it's super comfortable. You know, you get to take a break from dress shoes and you can leave a pair of dress shoes at your desk, um, just to switch on when you get to the office or you bring a pair of dress shoes in your gym bag, uh, to the office. And then you swap out once you get to the office. Um, but people, again, just to, to nail you know, this point, people don't really care what you look like as long as you look good. So it doesn't really matter what brand you're wearing. You can be wearing running shoes you know, throughout the office as long as it's like all black and it's drawing no one's attention. Um, so people wear, will, will wear all birds you know, on running sometimes, but on running, I think like oftentimes like they, People don't really have like their solid black or solid white colorways. So I've seen some Allbirds. Um, I have a pair of like Adidas that are like mostly black that I've worn to the office a couple times and then I'll switch out when I get there. And then uh, just since I mentioned it, when it comes to gym bags, there's like this big culture of banker bags within finance. You know, you have like these weekender duffel bags with your company brand or company name on it. You will, if you see anyone wearing that in New York, I mean, I'm, <laughs> it's actually part of the finance like Mimi you know, like, you know, fashion culture that I kind of like because like your company or your fund or your bank or your firm, they'll give you one of these bags with their name on it. It just kind of represents like all the work like you put in to get that job and to earn your seat. Um, but it's also kind of meme because it's just like, you know, some people will, will really carry that everywhere. 
So briefcases, just get a black one, you know, or you can honestly just get like a Herschel Supply Co. laptop sleeve. No one really cares, uh, which I think is really cool, at least from what I've seen. The, again, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, just look sharp and, and people don't really mind what kind of brands you're wearing. Okay, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments down below. I'm happy to answer any questions. Comments are my favorite part about doing YouTube. Um, you know, I have a, you know, 700 plus subscribers. I like having this, these sort of conversations. So let me know your thoughts below. Hit like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.